Yes, hello. Hey, Kay, what's up? Well, I am 80, was 84 years old. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> and I had a pancreas surgery in a year ago, February. Why? They found a cyst on the pancreas. Okay, so it wasn't cancer. Precancerous. No such thing. So, you, But you didn't have cancer of the pancreas. It's very important. Okay. Okay, so what else happened? Okay, at that time they took out part of the stomach and part of the pancreas and part of the bile. I have healed all right. Okay, they did a Whipple procedure. Yes. Okay, Whipple procedure is a big deal. Yeah. Okay, so you, well, you had a pancreatic, what they call a pancreatic pseudocyst. Okay, that's a little different picture. Okay, so Whipple, a Whipple procedure is a big deal. It's one of the biggest surgeries anybody can have done. And at the age of 84, that'll knock the heck out of you. So what's, what's bothering you, babe? So then in, in August uh, of last year, sure. I had hernia surgery, and I recovered from that all right. But since uh, about the middle of December, um, I have been going downhill with no energy and nausea and, and weight a little bit and no appetite. And um, this month, uh, my doctor took me off of metformin. And so the last few days, I have not been exper experiencing uh, the nausea that right. I have. Okay. Yeah, what, what, what metformin does is it makes the cells more sensitive, uh, sensitive to insulin. Yeah. Okay. Well, what they just did was lopped out a big piece of your pancreas. Okay. So it's gonna it's gonna throw your chemistry off every which way from Sunday. All right? Yeah. Now the the low energy that you're experiencing more than likely. Okay. If I had to take a guess here, I'd say that your adrenals took a hit. Okay. But hypoadrenalism, okay, can can make you just feel like you're just it's awful. But the surgery that you had done, okay, would be tough for anybody thirty years younger than you. Just so you understand it. Yeah. Now, when you have surgery, not just major surgery, but, but surgery in general, your metabolic demands, your needs, your needs for nutrition may double or triple. So if you come back and say, well, you know, I, I only need 1,500 calories to survive, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, your needs may be three to 4,000 calories in the perioperative period. That'd be for the uh, first six months following surgery. Okay, so you need to make absolutely certain that you're not starving yourself to death. The second thing is that after you take out the, the pieces of, of, of equipment that they took out to do a Whipple, okay, you're not going to absorb worth a damn either. So you need to get in there. You need to hump up your uh, mineral intake. Very, very important. Take two, three, four times what the RDA is going to be or more. Okay, your uh, need for, the, for amino acids is going to do the same thing, and your need for the essential fatty acids is going to jack up. So what I'd be doing would be looking at kicking up your amino acid intake. That would be, you know, taking down these uh, amino acid uh, slurpees. You know, they call them smoothies. I don't, don't think there's anything smooth about them. Okay, mm -hmm. and then to that, add the chelated minerals, and to that, make sure that you take a very, very healthy slug of the omega threes, not the sixes, not the nines, not the sevens, but the threes, and you should start feeling better with this. But it's a it's a terrible thing. It's very very common to develop uh, intractable diarrhea. The fact that all you've got is low energy is, is really ahead of the game. But if I were you, I'd be paying very very close attention to your nutrition.